Are you struggling to create objects in your Django REST Framework API using the CorePy library? You're not alone. Many developers face this issue, and today we're going to unravel the mystery behind it. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you can create objects programmatically, but hit a wall when trying to do it from the command line. This is a common hurdle for many developers, and it can really slow down your workflow. Here's the specific situation we're addressing. One user asked why they can only see the list and read methods in their CoreAPI endpoints, even after logging in with valid credentials. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this together. So, what could be causing this limitation? It often boils down to how the API is configured and the permissions set for the user. We'll explore these aspects to help you troubleshoot effectively. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a crucial tip that could save you a lot of time and headaches when working with APIs. To address the issue of missing create and update endpoints in the core API, the user should first ensure that the Django REST framework is properly configured to include these methods in the API schema. Next, the user should confirm that the experiment view set is correctly set up to allow these actions. This involves checking the permissions and the methods defined in the view set. After confirming the view set configuration, the user should check the URL routing to ensure that the endpoints are correctly registered. This can be done by reviewing the router setup in the urls.py file. Once the routing is verified, the user should reload the schema using the coreapy command to see if the create and update endpoints now appear. This can be done by running the coreapy reload command. Finally, if the endpoints still do not appear, the user should check the authentication settings, ensure that the credentials are correctly added, and that the user has permission to access these endpoints. Fun fact, did you know that the Django REST framework is one of the most popular frameworks for building APIs in Python? It's loved for its simplicity and flexibility. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user encountered the same issue and found that it was related to the versions of CoreAPI and CoreAPI CLI being used. They discovered that CoreAPI CLI was using a deprecated credentials argument, which prevented it from sending authentication headers properly. To resolve this, they suggest clearing the credentials, adding them again with the correct format, and manually adding the authorization header. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. A user pointed out that this issue is a known bug in version 2.3-X of CoreAPI Kali. They mentioned that a fix is on the way and provided a link to the issue tracked on GitHub. As a workaround, they suggested following the previous answer by Sergey Dulovich. Now, let's see a response from a different user. One user shared that they don't encounter the same issues when using the Python client directly with basic auth credentials. They provided a code snippet demonstrating how to authenticate and create an object successfully. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. Another user faced a similar issue after authenticating with CoreAPI. They found that the rest unsafe methods were listed after running a specific command to add credentials. They suggest checking the methods using the command for snippets. They encountered an error when trying to create a resource, which indicated that the create key was not found. The solution was to refresh the schema by retrieving it again after authentication, allowing them to create the resource successfully. Here's the tip I promised. Always double check your API permissions and user roles. This simple step can save you a lot of troubleshooting time in the future. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to troubleshoot the issue and get your core API working as expected. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks.